Ooh, that ice cream sandwich Ooh. looks really good. <laughs> oh, but look at this ice cream cookie dough pie. Ooh. Why the fuck are you I would guys eat looking that. at this? How did this even start? We're filming a podcast. How did... <laughs> yes. Oh my god. Anyway, so are we ready to start the podcast? <laughs> so welcome to episode <laughs> two. Canada, <laughs> let's talk about it. <laughs> this cannot be our intro. <laughs> hey, listen, I'm gonna do the intro, okay? okay. This, I, I'm a podcast expert. <laughs> Canada, let's talk about it. Yeah, <laughs> okay, shut the fuck Did you know? All of these hate you. Canada, let's talk about it. <laughs> Damn it, Eddie. Okay, Eddie. Hey, I, sorry, I started sorry. after Angie started laughing. <laughs> Continue, Zuko. Did we know? Did you know all geese hate you on a personal level? Let's talk Welcome about it. To the incredible truth. <laughs> So, <laughs> okay, that's our jingle now. How y'all doing? Uh, today we're gonna talk about Canada, Canada, the Great White North. Hey, Canada's top head. I mean, wait, America's top head. America's top head. America's top head. <laughs> Home of great names such as Ryan Reynolds and oh, um, Ryan maple Reynolds. syrup. Do you think Ryan uh, Ryan Reynolds tastes like maple syrup? Oh my God! I yes. So. Oh my! F oh yes. Great. I mean, I bet Ryan Reynolds Canadian. himself tastes like me. Oh my gosh. It's mostly Ryan Reynolds. Most Canadians are not blessed with that gift. Yeah, yeah. But like, <laughs> ugh, what a hottie. Anyway, um, Canada. So, maple syrup. Topic we've already touched on. Famous for it. They love the stuff. They don't the drink stuff. water up there. It's all they got, you know. Maple syrup. So, straight from It doesn't tree. rain. It just snows. So, it's <laughs> the only source of, uh, <laughs> source of sustenance. Apparently, one loser here puts maple syrup in their coffee. I do. I love maple syrup. I'm a Canadian patriot, my guy. Oh no. <laughs> oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Fascinating. But you've never been to Canada. No, you've never been to Canada. What? I have. <laughs> oh, okay. Well then, I've never been to Canada. So what's Canada like, Zuko? You know, it's chilly. Um, it's quite nice. Very nice. They make some really good food up there. I just love the coconut cream pie. That is my strongest memory of the place is their coconut cream pie coconut god. cream pie god coconut cream pie is good it's fascinating but is it is it just like coconut cream pie in general or canadian ca canadian <laughs> it's the canadian <laughs> coconut cream pie that really stands above the rest of any of them you know british columbia that's that's where i visited um i knew a horse up there that's where i got my fear of horses i believe her name was swirl girl and uh, I used to go down on my roller skates down the road and <laughs> go see her. And I'd, uh, I'd like, walk up to her with a carrot and then she'd like move closer and I would fall down on my back. And hold on, scream. hold on, let me, let me get this straight. Is that just a weird Zuko thing or does everyone in Canada roller skate places? <laughs> I don't know. I think it was the trendy uh, British Columbia, you know, activity at the time. Okay. So we had shitty ro roads for it. They were like bumpy. Uh, Tori, since you seem to find credible sources and Eddie doesn't, can you mm. tell me? Can you tell me um, why, as our official oh, research team, Tori, Tori you're our research team now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, right. Can you tell me why Canada chose to have a maple syrup leaf as their <laughs> flag as symbol? Their, as their flag? I'll, I'll God, either. why would they do that? I. St why would they do that? Now. I'm a Call big supporter of the Can Canadia flag. Canadian flag, <laughs> yes. <laughs> the, <laughs> I believe it is probably one of the best flags that there are. Um, <laughs> the, the maple leaf represents unity across the entire country, regardless of birthplace. What she um, said. An inclusive symbol and is um, become a symbol of Canada's nationality and in independence. Canadians were born under a maple tree and baptized in syrup. And mm -hmm. as long as you've done that, you're a Canadian. It doesn't matter what skin color you have. Or how many I legs. mean, it's, it's unity, so. Mm -hmm. It's unity. And yes, exactly. The, the red squares are the boring Americans and, uh, I don't know, water people. On so am side. I eating unity with my breakfast every morning? Is that how that works? Well, you're <laughs> are you eating, eating leaves? Well. <laughs> 
<laughs> as a vegetarian. As a vegetarian, leaves are the only thing I can do. Uh, naturally. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, if you didn't know, every day on February 15th, we Canadians celebrate our Canadian flag. You're not Canadian. Do you know how old the Canadian flag is? <laughs> You're not fucking Canadian. Do you know who Let's... designed it? And do you know Let why? Read more to find out. Let him live his fantasy. All right, all right. Sorry, continue. Okay, so the maple leaf was made the official flag of Canada and raised on Parliament Hill, February 15th, 1965. The Canadian red insignia, uh, what does that word? Was the insignia. unofficial. Okay, so they had this really terrible flag, and I encourage you all to look it up at home. But this awful flag that I'm putting in chat oh, now, this the was their previous flag. It was awful. Like, oh. You can't, you can't even, what the fuck is that? It looks like it's some poor yeah. ass Photoshop. Right. I probably did that. I mean, if we thought the, the current Canadian flag was, was bad, then wow, that's really bad. It's all about perspective. Okay. And, yeah, so in 1984, the national flag was launched into outer space. Yay. Um, <laughs> the, the specs kind of suck. But red and white are the colors of the flag, and they are official colors. Of Canada, as declared by King George V. Are you a king? Are you a king? I didn't think so. Okay. So, Missing a very important uh, color. Fuck off, American. <laughs> <laughs> so. I mean, uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry. So, sorry. in perspective, the the Canadian flag is actually the best good. flag. The best flag. Okay. The best flag. And do you want a flag? Because. Canada gives away its flags to citizens oh, for does free. It? Yeah. There's like one free care? flag for one free citizen once every 100 years. It's a religious thing. Yeah. It's the parliament sets it up. So you give a, they give away flags to citizens once every 100 years, one time. One time. <laughs> yeah. So currently, if you want to sign up for it, there's a bit of a 7,000 year wait period. Okay. <laughs> but you will get your flag. You will get your flag. I'm assuming Canada wasn't as populated at the time. Yeah, there were like six people. Okay. <laughs> All right, that's fair. But they did have a parliament. <laughs> of course. And White I'm guessing people. it was just the six people. No, there was five of them and then, and then the, the other one. And then the one guy that wanted a flag. <laughs> Nikki was the guy who wanted a flag. <laughs> and they gave him the shitty ass uh, Austri like UK one with the weird ass shield badge. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So what else is Canada known for? Curling and air hockey, so I hear. Okay. Yes, that is a, I'm sorry. What is, what is curling? Time. I don't know what curling is. Yeah, like, no. Research team. Curling. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> curling is the sport where they have the, like, disc on the ice, and then they, like, brush the floor in front of it to, like, it's like shuffleboard, but in an ice rink. So all Canadian sports involve ice rinks, is what I'm understanding here. Basically, yes. It's oversized talkie is what it is. <laughs> All right. How anyway. about, um, oh, I was going to say, yeah, a quick word from our sponsor today. This episode is sponsored by Canada and Canada Airlines. Canada Air? Air Canada? That's what it's called. Air Canada. Canada. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Air Canada, they bring you places like to Canada and out of Canada. They, I don't know if they do. It would be a bit strange if they did flights, you know, from like the US to the UK. But maybe if you pay them enough money. Everybody wants to fly with Air Canada. They're just so nice. <laughs> you go on their plane and they're like, Oh, sorry, sorry for this. No seats. Sorry. It's a plane. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> They, they did tell us to say that in the advertisement. Sorry, so sorry, we only have a tuna salad. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> then you're like, can can I smoke in here? And they're like, sorry, no. Unless you share. <laughs> yeah, unless you share. Yeah, they're just such a fun airline. Mm -hmm. Canada, Air Canada. Air Canada. Thank you to our sponsors. Um, now Canada as you all know, has the fascinating thing of of the no-name brand. Oh. Mm, the elusive name. The, exactly. As some call it. Um, 
and I don't know. I heard the brand has a no, very I feel color. like as the no name brand, it really only has one aspect to it. And I think that ties in very well to another segment. It's yellow. Oh. I like yellow. <laughs> Acknowledge my amazing transition. Oh yeah, my god. I'm about oh, this. is that my is that yeah, my that's cue? your cue. That's your that was your <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now everyone shut the fuck up while I am lighting you. <laughs> Listen here, everyone. In the natural world, yellow is the color of sunflowers, dandel wait, daffodils, egg yolks, and lemons. Canary it is also bees. the color of dandelions. Okay. In our and our contemporary and our you know, dandelions are kind of like uh, <laughs> like butterflies in a sense. In, in, in our contemporary human-made world, yellow is the color of SpongeBob. It's the color of happiness, optimism, enlightenment, it's, and that's what's happening right now. I'm enlightening you, losers. Do they really not and have yes. kiss on there? What? And we're also enlightened to the beauty and simplicity of No Name Brand. Because if you go to Canada and if you're at your local supermarket, you will happen upon something unusual and that's a brand of anything say mayonnaise apple drink um apple beverage cereal yeah, apple beverage apple beverage billboard that's not a product they sell at grocery stores that is what you'll see outside of the grocery store it just says billboard <laughs> it's, it just says billboard did i for outdoor did i, ass. So did I forget help. to mention fuck you all <laughs> Can you please go ahead and explain it in more detail, like, how how everything works, you know? Yeah, so basically, if you- it's- it's very simplistic, uh, advertising. You basically- you look at the shelf, and it's a yellow background, and some black text, telling you what they sell, and they- they sell everything. But doesn't but that there's... feel like someone's trying to poison you? And again, like you said with the flag, it's just like, is all of Canada just cheap Photoshop? Maybe. <laughs> I don't know if they, they really wrapped their head around it yet. The no-name brand is, um, it's only sold by Loblaws, which is, uh, Canada's largest food retailer. So, really? Okay. Mm. Yes. So they're making bank off of... Mm. Yeah, uh, and I guess, I guess at the Loblaws same time, they, they don't have to spend that much on advertising then, right? They really don't. <laughs> no. That's, that's why they can save money and mm -hmm. uh, cut down the middleman. So, so we think they're kind of, um, like, behind, but in, in reality they're ahead of the game. Yeah, they're the Robin Hood. Of, Fascinating. Yeah. Food and everything. They are Robin Hood. They're the yellow Robin Hood. My section it? was stolen from me. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what else do you have to say about yellow? Bullshit. Um, those <laughs> condemned to die. No, that's the color of piss, actually. I'm gonna go kill myself. <laughs> those those condemned to die during the Inquisition were yellow as a sign of treason. Which Inquisition? <laughs> the Canadian Inquisition, obviously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. Although there are strong mustard yellows and deep yellow orchids, there are no dark yellows. Yellow is the only color that reacts badly to black. Really? Add a little black and it becomes a sickly yellow green. Well, what about a nice banana? No, it means when you mix the yellow and black, not when black shows up. I'm sorry, do you like black bananas? Yeah, what? What? Not really, actually. So then what? Okay. <laughs> I'm playing devil's advocate here. You're right. <laughs> Okay, continuing. <laughs> a myth about the effects of yellow. It is not true that babies cry more in yellow rooms and that yellow causes diarrhea. What or the that husbands and wives fight more in yellow rooms. I don't believe it. This is blasphemy. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I just look at the color yellow and I just start shitting liquid. I mean... And crying at yeah, the exactly. same time. <laughs> hey man, I'm just, I just gotta say, coloursmatter.com forward slash the mini of colors forward slash... I also come, but that's because of Spongebob. Very incredible. What? What? Oh. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh... <laughs> it. Here's a tidbit to ponder. U.S. law prohibits coloring margarine to look like butter. Why? <laughs> Was that done? Did somebody I, do that? If so, that's a stellar it's, prank. The, <laughs> it's a, a butter, it's margarine is a butter substitute, but it's made of vegetable oil yeah. and animal fat. Get pranked, America. <laughs> it's just like with honey. Did you know honey's not real? What? Most honey sold in America is fake and contains 0% actual honey. What, what do they make it out of? Honey substitutes. So then where's like, actual honey sold? Um, not here from like brands that will sell actual honey okay like canada but, you know, canadian yeah, brands. The, 
yeah, in Canada, it's it's outlawed in every country except for the United States to sell honey, or sell fake honey and call it honey. Wow. <laughs> Can we fact check that research team? I'm pretty Can sure that's right. Checking? While she's okay. doing that, um, um anyone, uh, anyone got any little, uh, fun little, uh, little uh, Canadian slang? Oh, yeah, you're putting me on the spot, but if you guys want to learn some Canadianisms, I got gotcha. you. So, I'm gonna, how this is gonna work. I'm gonna give you a piece of Canadian slang. You're okay. gonna tell me what you think it means. All right. Are you ready? Yes. I have the information on it when you're ready. Okay. okay. Thank you. But first, <laughs> honey. Honey. Is our sponsor for this episode. Honey. Have you guys to go to honey.com well, and get I thought we were already sponsored. for Chrome? I thought Canada was already sponsoring us. Listen, we need the fucking <laughs> cash. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, yeah, install thousands of free- no, I, I, just get I got all clicks. the coupons on your oh, actual Zico, fake Zico, honey. Zico, I you, got- I have the I, script for the honey, Ed. I got okay, it, I got you, it. Honey, honey is a free browser add-on available on Google, Opera, Firefox, Safari. If it's on a browser, it has honey. Honey automatically saves you money when you check out on sites like Amazon, Papa John's, Kohl's, and wherever else you shop. It's a good chance that honey can save you money. All you have to do while you're checking out out of these major sites is click that orange little orange button and it will scan the entire internet and find discount codes for you it takes two clicks to install honey now anytime you check out honey will scan the entire internet and find coupon codes for you well, if there yeah. is a coupon code they'll find it and if there's not a coupon code <laughs> okay. you can rest assured that you're getting the best price possible and there there is literally not one available on the internet if you install honey right now you can save <laughs> You can save like fifty to a hundred dollars on your Christmas shopping doing absolutely nothing. It's May. There's literally no. There's literally, <laughs> <laughs> this is literally no reason not to install Honey. It takes two clicks. Ten men. Ten I get it. it. <laughs> One hundred thousand five star reviews. Oh, if you can hate Honey, you should install Honey. If you want to install it, just go to joinhoney.com forward slash budget podcast. That's okay, we're- joinhoney.com forward slash budget podcast one more time. Like side roads away from my actual quiz <laughs> tori what was the what was the what's okay, fake honey what's so, up with that all right all right so federal agency <laughs> do you know my calculator oh my god Ready, no, no. <laughs> Hello? okay the federal agency collected 240 samples of honey across canada and found that 78 percent were um authentic honey so Oh, fascinating. About 22% okay. were um, fake. Okay, that's not bad. No. That's not no. bad. Comparing to the United States, which is 100% fake. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. We are not sponsored by the US. <laughs> has real maple syrup, obviously. So Canadian slang. Canadian slang, new segment. I'm right. going to give you a piece of Canadian slang, and you're going to tell me what you think it means. Our Jesse. Of- hey, Jesse. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I don't actually have a lot here, but my first piece, our first piece of Canadian slang is. Eh? Eh? I'm sorry, what? E H question mark. E H question mark. Is that like eh? what? Yeah, like. Is it like what? Let's get some, let's get some pancakes, eh? You know? Yeah. It's like, it's like they're like saying like right, right? Like. So you're saying mm. like A Y E, like A? No, because that's no, E-H, I. E H, E H question mark. Well, no, no, no. Tori's saying, like, let's get some something Okay, a, what do you think, that... Eddie? Tori, well, Tori? I think it's, like, white. And Ash? Eh. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, eh. Tori is correct. E. Eh is basically saying, what do you think? It's, like, ask, it's not It's not asking, like, uh, what you mean. It's asking what you think. So oh. you'd say, Yo, let's, you'd give, let's you'd say something, up, okay, eh. let's make some pancakes, eh? And then be like, yeah! Yeah, let's make some pancakes. And then you make pancakes. So it's is it like their version of in it? I I I don't know. In it, it's just it's just nonsense. <laughs> <speak>. <laughs> it's like their version of saying like, oh, like let's like you're like down to do this, right? Yeah. Or like you're down mm-hmm. to do this, eh? What do you think? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shouldn't we? Eh. Our next piece of Canadian slang is keener. What? A keener? That? Keener. Is that a body part? It's a keener. K e e n e r. What do you think a keener is? Keener. Glasses? Ah, uh, I have no idea. A keener, keener, keener. K e e m e r. Oh wait. Keen. 
Give you a hint. Keeners are very keen. Isn't is, is it like keen? What? The... what? Wait, wait, what kind of animal? I don't know. <laughs> They're just like keen. I was like, oh, like Keener. a like a wolf or is something. Is it like is that like focus? Uh... Like keen, like being keen on something. Wouldn't that be like it's, it's focus? A, it's only slightly related. What? What do you mean? Huh? Okay, I'm gonna tell you what it is. <laughs> Keener is someone who tries very hard to please others. Oh, so a simp. So, a simp. Okay. <laughs> yeah, a simp. But what so I'm basically confused... just all of Canadians. Yeah, that's what I'm confused about. Is because Canadians <laughs> are always so polite. Anyway, yeah. how polite do you have to be to be considered a keener? <laughs> yeah. Like how, how goddamn polite must you be? Just so you think it's higher Canada. than simp level? Mm-hmm. Like if 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 Canadians are sick of their politeness, that's got to be pretty <laughs> fucking like, bad. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Anyway, that is a keener. Our next Canadian slang is a hoser. A hoser. Okay, that's just a penis. Is that a, like a, a prostitute? Is it? Wait, can you give us like a, a, a hint? Um. A oh man, D don't listen to him. He's just a hoser. Uh, a prostitute. Is, he, is, is it like a prostitute. bonehead? Yeah, like, like, like retard. Yeah, we go with like <laughs> someone that's not. Eddie is closest. Right? It's an unsophisticated person. Okay. A okay. bonehead. A, a penis. Yeah, a I hoser. mean, so prostitute. Hoser. Pro okay. I still think you want to. I think prostitutes can be very sophisticated. Well, yeah, but you know, I'm pretty sure in literally every other part of the world, hoser means penis. I don't. I don't like no hoser prostitutes. You know, stick your hoser in me. My prostitutes are all keeners. Those are the best kinds. I still don't know what that means. What the fuck? It's a simp. Well, what kind of what kind of simp prostitute? Why will what the fuck? Not a well, gender. technically, aren't all prostitutes simps? Let's no. let's go on to the next. Well, no, because simps generally pay. Oh, simps. Okay, prostitutes true. are kind of making bank off of the simps. Right, right. Okay, that makes sense. Our next, so word next up is Timmy's. What Timmy's? the fuck? Oh, Come on. If is you guys like know anything about Canada, this is an easy one. Timmy. Eddie, you're onto something. Timmy's. Oh, oh it's a food. Um, food. is it a well-known chocolate a... bar? No. no. It's not. It's not a candy, or is it? Is it like a restaurant? Timmy's. Yeah. Is it a restaurant? Oh. No, no Google. I'm not googling it. But if it's not some sort of fat, or like, it's not. It is a fast food sort of... restaurant. What? Really? Hey. It's a fast food restaurant. <laughs> nice. Uh, well, okay. Well, I was just assuming that it's not a candy bar. Do you know what? Do you know what fast food restaurant it is? No. Timmy's. Oh, no, it's gonna be called Timmy's. That's the slang for Timmy's. Oh, oh that's, Timmy's is the slang. Oh, um, oh, 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 Timothy. Wendy's. Wendy's. Tim Hortons is Canada's favorite fast food oh. place. Named after what, the renowned hockey player. Isn't that the elephant? Oh. Oh. <laughs> no, well, what not, do they not sell? Hortons here's a who. <laughs> 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 well, we'll get to that. But it's Canada's biggest fast food place. But what do they Tim sell Hortons. them? Just a, all the... They, s they sell maple syrup. Oh, okay. What else? <laughs> anyway. My bad, my bad. <laughs> Just shots of maple syrup. Yeah, I'll get a double maple syrup <laughs> with extra spice. Anyway, uh, our next Canadian slang is... Okay, no, this is going to be a bit different. I'm just going to compare our slang. So what do, you, what do we say when we think something is funny? Ha! <laughs> except, like, except not actually laughing. What? What do we say? Like, yeah. That's no, if we're a normal person. <laughs> no one says that. No one says that's that. That's funny. <laughs> We'd say that's funny. Yeah. Right. Canadians say that's jokes. Mm. What the fuck? <laughs> that, okay. So, when well, something's funny, that's jokes. Uh huh. I don't think when that's proper grammar. grammar. I don't. I don't think that's. All right. <laughs> that's jokes. Next, we have double double. Toil and trouble. No, it's oh. it's slang for something, Mitch. It's double double. Is it an air hockey thing? No, it's related to Tim Hortons. Oh, Tim Hortons. A, a burger? Oh, sorry. It's a double double. Oh. So like a quadruple patty melt? You're working at Tim Hortons. Some guy comes up. He's like, "Hey, I want a double double." What do you give him? Uh, a, a double shot a double of cheeseburger. maple syrup. It's a Tim Hortons regular coffee with two creams and two sugars. And don't forget to roll up the rim to win a yearly contest. I was pretty close with the maple shots. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> two green and two sugar. It's like a double double. See? Mm, can't Do the math. What is a Canadian tuxedo? Is it not a tuxedo? It's a penguin suit. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> guys, okay, gotta think outside the tuxedo here. Think, think out. out. Oh, it's called a. Is fox. it still a clothing? Is what, it... Eddie? Is it still a clothing? Depends how you look at it. What? Hello. What? What? what does that mean? It's like animal skin or something. Like they don't wear their oh, tuxedos. God. Well, it... well, I mean, yes, yeah. eventually. Okay, so everybody thinks it's clothing. Uh... It has to be right. Right. And what else? What, is, what else would they call a tuxedo? What is a tuxedo? I feel like there's something to do with dead people. What? Oof. Okay. Because oh. like, can't like isn't like a gene like thing? No. Well, you're not gonna get it. A Canadian tuxedo is when you pour a bottle of maple syrup all over your lady when having sex in a uh, Tim Hortons bathroom. Okay, I'll stop you right now. What? Tim Hortons. <laughs> <laughs> it has to be in a Tim Hortons bathroom. Oh. Fascinating. Why do they have a name for that? Like, <laughs> they, how many? It's called a Canadian tuxedo. No, 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 no. But how many people have to do? Like, is it a customary thing to like walk into the bathroom and then you're just like, oh. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't like, see oh, your tuxedo what are you going there. for? What did you go into the bathroom for? Like, uh, the Tim Hortons. And he's like, oh, we're going for a Canadian tuxedo, eh? And he's like, yeah. It's a very polite way of saying I'm gonna pour sex over a naked body. I mean, not pour sex. Pour sex. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel like that still has something to do with dead people for some reason. <laughs> You were kind of close, I guess, in yeah, a really yeah, yeah, messed yeah, yeah, up yeah. way. And... Yeah, like, you know, I'm just saying. <laughs> like, could you not, uh, could you not Canadian okay, tuxedo a dead person? Okay, we spent way too long on this. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Good. I'm glad I stopped that. So, what do you guys think a bunny hug is? A bunny hug. Fuck, do you hump them? You don't, okay, bunnies don't hug. Yeah. What? <laughs> oh, is it like the nice um... way of saying, like, you sucker punch someone? No, it oh. is. Unlike is it a Canadian what? tuxedo, a bunny hug is a piece of clothing. What oh. the fuck? What? It's specifically a hoodie. What the fuck? No way. Yeah. yeah. I don't... I don't understand. Why bunny... wouldn't they just... They should... It's a bunny hug. What? Isn't no. that Are nice? There... I adore... I adore that. Like, I'm gonna wear my hoodie. No, I'm gonna wear my bunny hug. But, like, is it made of bunnies? No. No. But it's a little bunny hug. But, but it's not made of bunnies. <laughs> it's cute. But like you just imagine when you put on your hoodie that you're being hugged by a bunny. Isn't that nice? I'm gonna call my hoodies bunny hugs from now on. Please don't. don't. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Canadian anthem. I don't know it. Oh, mm -mm. So, Canada. Are we ready for our next piece of trivia? Sure. A fluffy marshmallow. It's just a marshmallow. <laughs> please, Tommy, it's just um, a marshmallow. Uh, Is it a weird sex position? Please. <laughs> it's another sex position. Oh my oh. god. No! <laughs> I don't want to explain this one. Okay, I want to hear it. But it does take place at a Tim Hortons party <laughs> lot. <laughs> <laughs> so, so hold Wait, on, what I you're telling me is that Canada isn't as nice as we think. It's just that we can't, we can't understand their, like, PG slang, and so we think they're all holy, but we in reality... We think nice. Yeah, in sorry, reality, it's actually just... Canadian slang for f*** you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna fluff you, Marshmallow, you! I have one last piece of trivia. Homo milk. Wait, say oh, that again? I don't know what this means. Oh my god! Homo. Wait, I say it again? Is it what we it. think it is? Homo Wait. milk. Is it what I think it is? Is it, is it gay cum? What do you mean gay cum? Cum is cum. It's homo milk. What, what does that mean? Uh, what does everyone think it means? Cum. I feel like I'm comfortable saying this. Homo milk is whole milk. What the f- Ow. <laughs> But like, it's milk, milk from a gay cow, right? No, 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 no. it's just whole milk. <laughs> So they say homo. So, why? Uh, this, this website didn't tell me why. <laughs> uh, research Maybe I'll research yeah. it. <laughs> anyway, are we out of segments? Or do we want to oh, go to homologized Yahoo? milk, abbreviated to homo. Well, I thought a nice way to wind down this podcast uh -huh. is to get some real answers. Okay. And 
there's one place there's one place i like to go to get true facts that i know i can trust and that is yahoo answers <laughs> yahoo answers now a lot of people were just asking canada with a bunch of question marks and then other people would respond with info about canada but who needs that some some man on here asked the question we've all been thinking so this yahoo answers is by anonymous and he asks is santa canadian and gay well don't leave us hanging well i don't know what do you guys think is santa canadian and gay hopefully i mean he's really nice i guess Mm -hmm. right Mm -hmm. i mean but then like is his like quote unquote wife like did we make yeah what about miss claus hide it well all these questions and more will be answered by another anonymous user slogan logan no but we'll call him slogan logan he says yes santa lives in the canadian north However, wait, this isn't a Canadian accent. Call call him Canadian slogan, Logan. Canadian. Yes, Santa lives in the Canadian North. However, I'm telling now that you have a well kept Canadian, the same thing, secret. You know a few more, and you need to know a few more things. The North Pole is really his gay partner from Warsaw. Mrs. Claus is his transvestite brother. His brother also wrote one of the Christmas carols. You know the you know the verse. Don we now our gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. <laughs> what? You never noticed that the elves have no wives? I suppose you also <laughs> never noticed that even all the reindeer are males. Males. See their <laughs> see their antlers. See for yourself. They all have male antlers. Toy Factory, my ass. It's just a front for the best <laughs> Canadian rye and whiskey distillery in the world. I suppose you think that it's just coincidence that CEC, that is made that is made in the frozen Canadian north, goes great on the rocks. He's using a bit of Canadian slang we didn't get to here, but it's you get what he means. Oh, oh and Rudolph's red nose. He's in gay denial. Can't handle it. Samples in the pro- samples the product way too much. Hell, he's blitzed more than Blitzen. Poor Santa. Well, you've smelled his whiskey breath and seen those glazed eyes. It's making him impotent. He only comes once a year, in more in, in more ways than one. Jesus. Christ. When Santa is in Toronto for the big Santa Claus parade, he likes to slip over to the Church Street gay area for a little R and R. I hear he does the same thing when in San Francisco and Miami. He thinks the bright red clothes are not considered too out of place in those areas. And that by comparison to the rest of the bright colors, his apparel goes relatively unnoticed. But now this is very important. Now that you know the secret, you cannot tell anyone. You must promise to guard it well. Well, thank God no one watches at our home podcast. Well. <laughs> yes, they must take the oath as well. Wear under a maple tree. <laughs> In a Tim Hortons. <laughs> In a Tim Hortons parking lot. Well, that's our podcast. That's our podcast. Kim, you definitely didn't make it all the way through. <laughs> definitely not. No, actually, I checked oh, my yeah, average effort, view duration for episode one is four seconds. <laughs> there we are. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, that's exactly what we want. That's, yeah. Maybe we should move our reading. ads up. <laughs> oh. <laughs> All right. Did you know Wattpad, our favorite fanfiction website, is actually founded in Ontario, Toronto? Oh, <laughs> when you need a podcast on the cheap.